Hello everyone! Welcome to the Daily Challenge for September 11th, 2014. Let's begin!
Oh, damn it. Yeah. Yep. Stupid way to die. I made a lot of small mistakes there. A lot of uh, little damage from little things that I shouldn't have gotten hit by. And those damn red bats, my god, I was avoiding them like the plague. I think that was the first stupid damage that I actually took was a red bat, which I wasn't actually trying to fight, but I was trying to fight enemies next to it. Yep, 34. Eh, another okay run. Certainly nothing to write home about. But yeah, those red bats continue to be a pain in my ass. There seems to be no real safe way to fight them. Technically there is, it's just really, really, really difficult and requires a lot of patience. And if there's anything else in the room trying to kill you, good luck. I've also noticed a couple things. Well, one is that I should really just leave a room that has a red bat, even if there are other enemies to fight, because that's one of the first damage that I took. I think I was trying to fight some of those blue blob things and got hit by the red bat in the process. Yeah, it's not worth it, just leave. The second thing I've noticed is that I have a tendency to kind of start going down a pathway, you know, start exploring in one direction. And then, even though I haven't finished exploring in that direction, I end up going in a different one. Which I think is my tendency because of single player games that have highly scripted events. I like to see everything, so I don't want to go too far, too far forwards in one direction before I make sure I've kind of cased everything out. But that's not actually a good idea here, because if you don't keep exploring where you're currently going, it's going to be very inefficient when you run back and forth and back and forth to finish everything. So it's actually a bad thing. And I should definitely stop doing it for the daily challenges. I think there's something else. Oh yeah, here's the other thing. So you might wonder what I was doing with that altar thing. The altar that had like the sword stuck in it. When I was battling that minotaur. So if you don't know, that is... Uh, I don't remember what it's actually called, but it's basically like a sacrificial altar. And if you kill enemies in the spots directly above it, below it, to the left of it, or to the right of it, it uh, will actually kind of power it up. So you're powering it up with killing enemies right next to it. And if you power it up enough, it actually gives you stuff. You need to kill a certain amount of normal enemies. I don't remember how many. I think it's like five or something. Or if you kill one mini boss, which is what that Minotaur was, next to it, then you get stuff right away. So that's what I was trying to do with the Minotaur. But my god, is that difficult. Trying to get a freaking Minotaur to be right next to the sacrificial altar? Ugh. I, I just gave up. I was like, no, this, this isn't worth it. This is too damn dangerous. I don't know how to do this. It's even difficult to get small enemies to come next to it. At least in the early levels, because in the early levels you have a lot of immobile enemies. Those blob things that just won't follow you. So it's actually quite difficult to power that up. I'm not even quite sure what you get, but... I do know you get something fairly good. There's actually th I actually did some research into the altars, and there's actually three of them that I'm willing to touch during a daily challenge. I haven't seen too many of them, and so far I've mostly been seeing the, the sacrificial altars. But yeah, I think I can recognize them, so if I see any of those three altars, I will be touching them. Okay, so once again, that has been the daily challenge for September 11th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.